Hi everyone, Dom Designs here and welcome back to a new Adobe Illustrator tutorial. In today's video, I will teach you how I took a sketch I created of a hot dog and turned it into a beautiful and vibrant vector illustration. If you're new to the channel and you're interested in Adobe Illustrator tutorials and process videos, then please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell notification so you don't miss my future uploads. Without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. As you can see, I started off by creating my sketch on my Apple iPad. Once completed, I transferred the image to my computer and placed it as a reference on a canvas in Adobe Illustrator. Let's then turn it into a template. Double click the layer icon and check on the template option. You can create a new layer above it and name it outline. For the stroke, I will be using a dark red color with rounded caps and corners. Let's begin with the outline. For this, I will activate the pen tool. You can press the letter P on your keyboard to activate it. Following the sketch, I will trace out my image. Just click and pull the anchor points to create smooth lines. Don't worry if you mess up. You can always adjust the anchors using the direct selection tool later on. For the sausage, I will begin by creating two circles. Using the pen tool, I will add another anchor point right over here and then delete the one next to it. I will also adjust the other circle by deleting the right anchor point using the direct selection tool. And then just combine these shapes with the pen tool. Now let's move on to the other side of the bun. This is perfect. As you can see, our lines are all overlapping and we want to clean that up. So what we will do is select everything and activate the Shape Builder tool. Let's zoom in and while holding Option on your keyboard, carefully click on the lines to delete them. Moving on to the condiments. With the pen tool and a thick stroke, I will trace out the ketchup. We will then turn this stroke into a shape by going to the object menu at the top and selecting Outline Stroke. Let's then use the eyedropper tool to match the shape of our drawing. Once again, we will clean up the overlapping lines using the Shape Builder just as we did earlier. Moving on to the sausage detail. With the pen tool, I will create three crossing strokes. In order to make the illustration look more interesting, I will activate the Width tool. With this tool, we can click and drag on lines and play with the thickness. In this case, I want to make the ends thinner. Same for the details on the sausage. For this part, we will want to turn these strokes into shapes by outlining them. Once that's done, 
Go to the Pathfinder panel and unite these shapes together to create one shape. All right, so we have completed the outline, so we shall now move on to adding the base colors. For starters, create a new layer below the outline and name it color. Select everything and go down to the layer panel. While holding Option or Alt, drag the red square down to the color layer to duplicate it. On the color layer, remove the detail on the sausage because we won't be needing that. Next, what we will do is outline the stroke and then unite everything using the Pathfinder panel. Now that the shape is united, right-click and release the compound path and then delete the outermost shape. All we have to do next is give everything a neutral color and turn on the outline layer so we could see better. Now let's select each individual shape and give it a base color from the swatches. To end things off, we will add some shadows and highlights. What I like to do is turn on my template layer and then press Command or Control Y to reveal the wireframes. With a darker color and the pen tool activated, I will trace out the shadow from my reference and then also make sure I overlap all my lines. Press Command or Control Y again to go back to regular mode and you will see our shapes. Using the Shape Builder tool, select the base color and shadow and while holding Option or Alt on your keyboard, delete the outside shape. Another way to add highlights or shadows is to use the shapes we already created. For example, the other side of the bun. What I like to do is duplicate this shape twice to have three shapes superimposed on each other. Move down the top shape, creating this gap at the top. And with the Shape Builder tool, delete the unwanted shape. Change the color to a lighter tone for the highlight. Using these basic techniques, I will complete the rest of this illustration.